Hey everybody, Adam Aguilar here, and today we are playing Minecraft, uh, not, not really playing it, just more of an uh, explanation type thing. So, yeah, this is still on the, uh, multiplayer server that I am admin on, as you can see with this telescopical zoom. Woo! Um, yeah, but we had to start over a new world, sadly, very, very sadly, because someone, apparently hacked into our multiplayer server and made it go down to zero frames per second because there was a spawned item that was invisible to the, everyone else except for MC Edit. So we just had to create a new world. And as you can see, that's old Greg's house. And he's just doing stuff, I guess. You won't really see him that much because I don't really talk to him, sadly. So here we go. We're going down into the wonderful world. You know what? I haven't done this in a while. Music. There we go. Okay, so music happens. Music happens. Uh, the texture pack I am using is Cobblecraft. And I like Cobblecraft because it is cobbly. And so I think I should give a small tour of the town. Very, very small. And then we will get back to it. Okay, so community warehouse. Uh... The rules of the community warehouse. One, you cannot take any chest. Two, put items away in the right chest. Three, take only what you need. Four, no golden apples. And there is no five. Donate what you can. And so, as you can see in here, we have all these chests. And these nine chests dedicated to cobblestone. Because last time we had only one chest dedicated to cobblestone. And that didn't end up too well. So yeah, so here's our map pretty cool. Uh, I can't remember the seed. I think it's, uh, fucking awesome. Or, fucking the shit. There we go. That's, that's the actual seed. With no eye. Uh, here is the enchantment room. If we wish to enchant stuff, it's now gonna cost us, like, about 31, uh, 17. I wanna get up to 16 or so. Sorry, tabbed out for Skype. I'm going to try to get up to 30, 32, because that's the highest point. Uh, we also have brewing stations. Not really much. I uh, kind of filled up with glass bottles over the course of picks in the server. Uh, the message board, which is new because we got rid of a co couple of stuff. Uh, the mining hole, which is just dug out and so that people can dig out and go into stuff and such and so I dug out a entire mine shaft and I just looked for stuff I remember coming back here okay but yeah I was I was mining through all of that shenanigans and it was good I liked it oh yeah and if you wanna put stuff away immediately that's storage area right there so you can come in through the door put your stuff away and then exit through storage but hey it's up to you and then over here is community waste disposal. So the water goes in, drops through the hole, goes into lava, disappears. It's pretty damn simple. Uh, community farm, so it's just farm. Now for the coup de gras, which means French in Spanish. Take that. Take that, stupid cow. Stupid cow. Um, so yeah, this is the, up oh, wrong button, train station. And this was all made by me. Thank God, because I, I am terrible. All right, so you have mine carts. Uh, follow the instructions. Use the train. Uh, we're step one. There it is. Flip only one switch. Whew. Lever should be going down for it to be on. Step two. Put cart as close to the stone as possible. And then... Bloop, 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 bloop. Come on, come on, you stupid. Remember to get in the cart before step three. And then step three, press the button. Right there. Boop. So, I was going to show you guys how this works. Because I wanted to show off an easy train system that anyone can use. So, here we have the three outputs. Which, it doesn't matter about the outputs. Or, it kind of does, but it... Pff, I don't even know what I'm saying. Fuck me. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, what happens is these 
when they're in the off position, they keep going left, and they switch around to the railroad track and end off at the departure. So when you flip a switch, let's just say the first one right here, it actually flips the track, and it goes off into the direction in which you want to go to. And so that's why we only have it as one. I'm not... Once again, this is absolutely basic, basic redstone, because I am very, very mediocre with it. So so the switch is right behind here, apparently, and it powers up this redstone, which goes down and goes into... Do I have a... Yes, I do. I'm going to have to use cobblestone. Oh, wait, no, I have regular stone. Awesome. Whoop. Which goes down into here which goes into a redstone torch, as you can see, and flips the switch for the track. And so when the switch is on, it, I'm not sure if it's a technical term, but burns out the torch, so it turns off, and then it turns on the track to flip it. So that's basically put onto each and every single one of these in some way, shape, or form. And so that's how to do it. Now, what I'm really proud of that I did all by myself is the fact of going through all these train stations, but they all come back from right here. So the first one, the green one, yes, okay, the green one, it goes all the way down there and to wherever it needs to go to, and so when it comes back, ow, bitch, so when it comes back, it comes down from there and goes over here flips on to this minecart, goes through, and is home safe. Now the second one is going down there into wherever that needs to go to. And so how this one works is a little bit different, but it comes from this direction, comes all the way down from there, goes this way, comes all the way up, bitch, and comes up all the way, uh, flies off the track, lands on the powered rail, and continues on forward, and ends up at the departure. Third one goes down and such, and the way it comes back is through this area right over here. Comes down from there, goes in through here, flips onto the track right here, does the same process of dropping down and onto the powered rail, goes into the departure, and is home safe. So to show an example of one such as this. Uh, I'm not sure which one I should show off. Because my proudest one is the pyramid. And so I also like the snow cabin, but that was used through a world edit. And the town is just a normal scenic one. So let's just go with the town. Just make it basic as basic. And if you guys want to see more, well, that'd be lucky if I can get some uh, comments down and saying, hey, show me some more of the uh, snow cabin and the pyramid. But we're going to go to town. <coughs> so, <clears throat> step one, flip only one of the levers. Done. Step two, place it as close to the cobblestone. Remember to get in the cart. Okay. Step three, push the button. Push! Whee! And then it flips you on, and then you go down the wonderful hole that I have dug out. Yay! That was fun and such. So, let's hope there's no mobs on the railroad tracks because that is one problem that I did have a little bit. Because it's like dark, I guess, and so they could spawn in. It was weird. But it doesn't look like it, so this is a good sign. I like it. I like it. Oh, Greg turned the time to day. Okay, that makes it all better. Hi, sheep. You're still drowning. Whee! Then you get off. You destroy the cart. Put it over the chest for multiple use. And you go up here. Yay! And so... This is our town with the newly reformed apartment complex made by Anne. So, yeah, it's pretty good. So, what the apartments basically look like is you have your mailboxes over here, you have your main desk, 
the lobby, and then you have your stair system. And then all the rooms. Oops, sorry, Anne. Okay, I won't I won't go in there. That's Anne's room. That's Kelsey's room. Well balls. Um Vacant? Okay. So here's basically this is what it is at all times. You have your room in here with your uh, chest, whatever you may need. And so, right here is a bench, I guess. And all the rooms look exactly the same, just a little bit f just switched on the opposite sides and just different color walls. Uh, then you have your little balcony so you can check out the scenery of what we have over there. And then, once again, they're just all the same. Then your helicopter pad. Uh, next, which is down here, is your quest log. So, like, if you want to put up some quests, these are all the rules, by the way. So, there's no quests at the moment because we're still getting acquainted to the new server map. So, that's wonderful. And hot tub. Yay. Whee! Oops, I forgot to close the door. There you go. And then here's my house. I'll, I'll just show you the basic of it. The whole... All legit. This is all legit. I make sure that I would play legit when I'm trying to survive in Minecraft. When I'm showing off, I don't care how I play. Uh, next, our playground. So we have our little monkey bars right up here. Wee, I get to play on monkey bars or a little slide that you get to go down uh, standard uh, stationary seesaw which is terrible uh, these gymnast bars and such but yeah that would be our town to show off and so now we get to go back in through the departure Boop. and then you just get to go all the way back to the train station. Now, the purpose of the train station, in my opinion, is for someone to, like, tab out, go check on Facebook or the Minecraft wiki, and check out a bunch of stuff as you're going towards somewhere. So, like, if you're going towards a town, which is on that rail ra ra railway right over there, um, all you gotta do is just go out just uh, get on the train track, just let it do its thing, tab out, go check out whatever, and then you get to uh, go and have fun. There's a little up, upsy doozle. Uh, yeah. And that's the purpose of the train, at least in my opinion. If you want to just have something cool, then go right ahead. But yeah, then that's how to do it. And that's a very easy train system. So, thank you for watching the wonderful thing that I have just posted. And I hope that you like it, because I, li I really like it. If you want to see more of the railways and where they head off to and how they look, uh, once again, leave a comment, because I want social interaction. Alright, so, thank you guys, and um, peace out. That, that's it, by the way. Bye.